Hi, it's Phil from Teach Blend, and in this video we're going to look at PowerPoint and the Narrate Slide feature. Now what this allows you to do is actually speak over your presentations, you can then actually annotate these presentations as well, and it's brilliant for asynchronous learning as you are able to then export it as a video and upload it for your students. So let's have a look now at how we can use PowerPoint and the Narrate Slide feature. I hope you find this video useful, and if you did, give us a like and subscribe to Teach Blend, it really helps. As you can see here, I've got a presentation that I'd want to deliver. I'm just going to go through a couple of the slides to show you what I would normally do in a live session. I would present this. Now to record, what we need to do is make sure we've got the record features enabled. So we're going to go to options here and then what we're going to do is go to our customized ribbon, scroll down and find the record option and make sure that recording is ticked. And this will open up a wealth of resources and to options that you can use in PowerPoint. In recording now, you'll see that we've got a record slideshow option. And this is brilliant. It allows us to do some really interesting things for asynchronous learning. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the record slideshow option now. And you can choose either from the current slide or from the beginning. In this example, we're going to go from the beginning. Here you'll now see some options that are available to you to record your presentation for your learners. So on the bottom right you are able to hide your camera for example and change some settings in terms of muting your microphone if you don't want to actually have yourself talking over it. The next thing you can also do is change the colours of the pens and the options. You can also choose notes to increase these to help you as you're going over. You can clear your slides and annotations using the clear button. You can also edit the settings such as which camera and microphone that you are actually going to use to narrate your slides. And then on the top left, you'll see the main options such as recording and stopping. What we're going to do is we're going to click record now and then we're going to start talking over our presentation. So here, for example, I am just going to introduce my slide to my learners and talk over it. On the next slide, I might decide that what I want to do is actually add some annotations and do some sort of mind map, for example. So really quickly, I'm just going to click the pen on the bottom, choose a color, and then what I could do is draw my arrows across, just like I would do in a live session with my learners, and I can actually then start to write. On the next slide here, you'll see I've got a, a picture and what I might do, for example, here is actually circle key settings and actually write these on. But if you had a diagram, for example, that you were explaining, you could also do it for this as well. So here you can see I'm just annotating this up. So you can use this for students and you can actually record these annotations as you're speaking over them. On the next one, what we'll do is we'll look at the highlighter feature. So in here, you can actually choose a highlighter color, choose the highlighter option, and then highlight over text. So this might be brilliant, for example, if you're highlighting a piece of English or an exam question, for example, you could use highlight. Here I'll show you another example of what you can do. For example, you can actually write in here as well. So you can actually draw in over communicate and enter in text on your lines to tell students. So if you were doing some sort of exam or questions, for example, this might be useful. What I'll also show you as well is if you make a mistake. So here you'll see that I'm intentionally making a few mistakes. I've done a few squiggles. What you can do is you can use the eraser, just click the eraser button, and then what you can do is actually just erase this um, annotations for the learners as well. Once you click stop, you are able to replay your presentation and it will replay each particular slide to make sure you're happy with it and you re can re-record that and clear it off if you want. So it records each slide almost separately. Once you're happy with this, what you can do is then stop the presentation and it will ask you to save. So we're just going to click save now to save our presentation. What this will then do is it will put your picture on the right, so that's useful, it tells you that it's annotated, and it will also show you the annotations. So then when yourself or learners actually view the presentation, you'll actually be able to see those annotations. Clearly here I've just sped this up um, as an example for you. Now what you might actually want to do is rather than have this as a presentation, is actually record, the, uh, actually make a video. So if you click recordings again, what you can do is actually export this to a video for your learners or as a self-paced PowerPoint. So here I'm going to click export to a video. 
what this will then do is give you some options the default ones are normally absolutely fine but you can change these if you want to then you're going to click the create video button so rather than a presentation this is actually going to make a video file so we're going to click save so you could upload this to example youtube or in my example i'm going to upload this to stream so in stream i'm going to click create and then i'm going to browse and upload this video but again this could be any platform that you are wanting to share your video with learners because it's no longer treated as a presentation it's a video in stream we'll just go through a couple of settings so for example in here what i'm going to do is turn off that i'm going to share it with everyone because what i want to do is share it with some particular learners so in permissions i'm going to just turn off company wide and then in here i can share with people channels and groups um, i'm just going to show you quickly how you could share to a particular channel so here for example i could write test as i have a test channel and search for that but what I want to do is actually send this to a group. So what I'm gonna do is go to my groups and my groups are made from Microsoft Teams. So I'm gonna share this to a Microsoft team. So my test class, so just search for your class. Once you're in there, click the class and then you can click publish. What this will then do is it will generate a link that you can actually give to students. So here I'm gonna click share and then I'm gonna copy that link to my learners you can embed as well but for this example we'll share then in my microsoft teams test i can just simply paste that link and my learners can access the presentation that i have narrated in video format there is another other way you can do it you can actually just click the stream button and paste the link in as well so here i'm just going to click new conversation choose the stream and i can search for stream and paste the link in that way as well so that's how you can create a narrated presentation for your students that they can view in their own time. Don't forget you could also do this in a live session um, as well so that you could actually then learners could look back at the presentation inside of Microsoft Teams for example. I hope you found this video useful and if you did give us a like and subscribe to TeachBlend it really does help. Thank you.